Hey guys, and welcome to episode, it should be episode 14, but it's episode 13, episode, something happened with episode 13, my audio was uh, non-existent, uh, so you guys missed basically the entire regular season, uh, so I will have to recap what we did, where we were, how things went, and um, yeah, and then we'll get into the postseason. So it was another successful season, 162. Uh, if we look at um, team info, uh, you can see we started out a little rough. We started out 18 and 16, and then in May and June, we went 40 and 13. Um, July was a little rough, August was good, September was just okay, but that still translates to a 100-win season. Very, very good offense. Again, best pitching in the game. Um, let's take a look at some of the transactions we made. Go back, I guess. We have to go all the way back to April, right? Nothing happened in April. Um... Brandon Woodruff and Anthony Kay both got hurt. Uh, they came back later in there. Or Woodruff did. Woodruff is still out. Kay came back a little bit later in the season. Um, because we lost two of our starting pitchers, we made a move in June. We sent Joel Voorhees, who I think is the 80th-ish prospect in the game. Number 61. Number 161 prospect in the game. He's an outfielder slash pitcher. Um, sent him to Atlanta, getting Max Freed or Fried. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, and Max was pretty good for us over the course of the year. It's a rental. He's done at the end of this year, uh, but he was 6-2 and two in 13 starts. He was injured for part of the season, but 6-2, 3 ERA. He was really good for us in, um, in, uh, in the rotation. Uh, we had to give up Joel Voorhees to get him. Go to July. Uh, we made a couple of uh, missed a deal. Did I? I guess I didn't. In July, we made a couple of, a couple of minor deals. We sent Christian Adams to the Charlotte Fusion, getting Trey Barrera, and the reason for that is Bone Alert was placed on the 60-day DL with a, a torn knee ligament. He's out for the rest of the season. Um, yeah, damn shame there. But uh, we brought in Trey Barrera, who um, hit okay. Uh, I mean, the average wasn't there, but he gave us some, you know, he had some good power. He's going to play good defense, so um, had to make the move there. And then we traded a minor league pitcher to the Mets, getting... Connor Jones. Jones is in arbitration. Um, saved 26 games for the Mets this year. Was Charlotte's closer previous to that. And was okay for us in 14 games. Uh, so those were the moves we made during the regular season. Um, if we take a look at our team. The batting. First, we're missing people. Missing. Why are we missing people? It because it's yeah, it's because I think it's because it's considered the All right, we're gonna have to wait. Missing people from the lineup, and I can't tell just by looking at it really quickly who I'm missing. But we can see Darian Perez just had an absolutely incredible season 48 home runs, 104 knocked in. 98 walks, 115 runs scored, 308, 410, 623, 7.1 war out of our 26-year-old outfielder. Uh, Walt Hart, who we picked up last season at, uh, uh, or picked up in the offseason, um, had a just an amazing first year for us. 35 home runs, 107 runs knocked in, 42 doubles, also had an OPS of over 1,000, good for 5.2 war. Uh, Alec Thomas had a nice season in center field. Um, Chris Bryant, 35 home runs. Lewin Diaz, 39 home runs, continues his stretch of 3,100 seasons, extends that now to five. All five seasons he's played in the majors, he's hit at least 30 home runs and driven in at least 100 runs. 
Um, and Lewin Diaz was uh, was a man on a mission the last few months of the season. You look at it, uh, April, March, April, and May struggled to hit 240. And then June, July, August, and September, 333, 298, 321, 333. So he was basically a 320 ish hitter uh, the last four months of the season. So great year out of him. Uh, Daz Cameron was injured, so he didn't play quite as much. He also didn't play very well. Uh, he was okay, 746 OPS, 1.6 war. Um, but his injury gave way for Bob Ray, who was one of our top prospects or is our top prospect, to get some playing time. And Ray really delivered 17 doubles, three triples in 52 games, 274, 344, 421, 765 OPS. Um, he will probably be our starting left fielder next season or right fielder. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, Mike Taylor uh, was the kid that we signed having never played above high A ball, and he got more comfortable as the year went on, so he acclimated himself okay. Then you got the rest of our... rest of our roster. Yeah, Kessinger, Rocio, and Wallace. That's the issue. We are actually without our entire middle infield for the postseason. Luis Ares and Noel V. Marte are out for the season. Uh, Marte had a another nice season for us, 2.6 war, played good defense. Uh, added a little bit more pop to his bat this year. Uh, Ares was good, but he was injured. He got injured a number of times throughout the course of the season. Still hit 314, 371, 410. So um, he won't, neither of them are going to play in the postseason. So that means Kessinger and Rocio will be our starting middle infield in the postseason. Uh, pitching staff. Uh, it wasn't as good as they were last year, but they were still okay. Uh, Shane Bieber had a bit of a down season. He was 13 and 10 with a 3.83 ERA. Uh, offense was was up across the board this year, so um, you know I don't pay much attention to the ERAs. But 3.6 WAR. Uh, Sui Chan Yu, who was the rookie we signed in the off season, uh, he had a really really nice first season, 15 and 7 with a 4.07 ERA. Um, Really good walk to strikeout ratio, struck out eight and a half per nine. His FIP was three six seven, so he actually pitched better than his ERA would indicate. Uh, Sean Cervantes had his uh, another nice season, thirteen wins this year, following up a twelve win rookie campaign. Uh, still not striking a lot of guys out, but you know pitched to about a four ERA and a three four. A high thing, yeah, uh, only forty seven hits in eighty one innings. He's been a staple in our bullpen the last three years. Uh, thrilled to have him just outstanding in that setup role for us. Braxton Garrett um, kind of is what he is at this point. He's settling into that high fours ERA type starter. His contract is up at the end of this year, so I don't know what we're going to be doing yet with him. Uh, Marshall Kozowski had another good year for us, another 34 saves. Joey Wentz with another good year out of the bullpen for us. Um, yeah, Tyler Nesbitt's a rookie. He pitched okay. Uh, Griffin Jacks pitched pretty well. He doesn't beat himself. He's got good control. Um, Shane Baz kind of played in that swing swing role. He started 12 games, pitched in 43 over the course of the year, and he was okay again. Still strikes out a lot of guys, 10.9 per nine innings. The walks are, are still an issue. So um, I don't think he's ever going to be elite, but he could be – um, you know, a valuable swing man for us as we move forward. Anthony K was just okay. Um, 5.74 ERA, and he's due for a lot in arbitration this year. So uh, he may be somebody that we look to move when the season ends. So that's pretty much where we are. Uh, we have to change our lineups here a little bit and put uh, Rocio in at second. Kessinger short. Excuse me. Yeah, we are going to be without without our starting middle infield throughout the postseason, and that's that's a problem. But we'll figure it out, I guess. Walt Hart not hit lefties. It's been a while since I've played. Can't. All right. 
so that's about that. Um, prospect wise, oh, you guys missed the draft too. Um, let's look at this way. Team history. Draft. Draft. Our first pick was TJ Martin, a center fielder. Um, good gap power, good contact, good home run power. Um, I think he'll be okay when it's all said and done. I don't know if he's ever going to be great, but he'll be all right. Our number two, number two pick was Mike Wright, first baseman. Um, good with the bat, not a great fielder. May end up being a DH type, but uh, bat looks pretty good so far. Our number three. We didn't have a number three pick because we signed um, RAs. Our number four pick was Josh Nichols, kind of a slap hitting second baseman. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Hall, who's this? Jeremy Hall, another first base option. Um, <coughs> nothing much to write home about. And Jaden Daly was a closer. Uh, really bad control, but good stuff and a couple of good pitches. So we'll see what happens there. So that was our draft. Um, anything else I want to go? I don't think so. That's basically our team. Uh, prospects, that's what I want. Our top prospect is Bob Ray. We've already talked about him. Jesus Vargas is our number two prospect. He is in still in the international complex. Uh, he looks like a decent starting pitcher. Uh, Sweet Chan Chu is already up. JD Thompson is in double A right now. And he looks really good. Three great pitches, awesome control. Uh, I'm excited about him. Um, that's about it. Aiden Castillo. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's about it. So we don't have a ton in our prospect in our prospect uh, list, but we've got some some kind of high high caliber type guys. Hector Flores was um, oops, Hector Flores was drafted him as a pitcher and made him a hitter immediately because he's um, has the potential to be elite, so he's coming along nicely too. so. All right, so let's get to the postseason and see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's make sure our roster is as set as it can be. I don't have any middle infielders that I can call up. That's a shame. All right, well, we're going to stick with what we have here and see how it goes. See who we're going to be playing. Tampa or the Yankees. All right, so we're going to be facing off against the New York Yankees. Let's take a look at their roster, really. Uh, as expected, the Yankees get it done with their offense. Third most runs scored in the American League. Aaron Judge, 56 home runs. Tristan Cassius, a former Pistol Shrimp, three straight seasons of at least 39 home runs. Never actually made it to the big club with us, but uh, he's raking for the Yankees. Um, TJ McCants, 25-year-old third baseman, 46, 46 home runs. That 2-3-4 is pretty crazy. Uh, pitching, Jal Jalme. Ja Jawi Jawil May Jal I'll call him Jal May Jal May Ramirez twelve and three uh, Eduardo Rodriguez former Red Sox and then Bill so their pitching staff isn't great um had a decent bullpen Ben Sansone or Nabel and Luis Severino <coughs> excuse me uh, looks like they've had some injuries to their pitching staff yeah Garrett Cole is out for Five months. Denilson LeMay is out. OCL Rodriguez. Yeah, they've had some injuries to their pitching staff. So uh, hopefully we can get it done. Let's uh, 
Hi, team. So let's move on to the ALDS. All right, so game one of the ALDS will be Jalme Ramirez against Shane Bieber. We win 3-1. Ash just goes yard for the Yankees, but that's their only run of the game. Otherwise, Bieber was a dominant. Six hits, one run, no walks, 10 strikeouts in eight innings. For us, we had three guys with RBIs, Thomas, Hart, and Bryant. Rocio scored a pair of runs. Kessinger had two hits at the bottom of the order. So our new and revamped middle infield has at least got it done through game one. Wow, we dominated the Yankees in the postseason or in the regular season. Pete Gill against, oops, I got a personal message. Great Billy Hamilton's retiring. That Billy. Pete Gill against Sui Sean Yu. This is title one as the cameras 12-4. Rookie had a difficult time in his maiden voyage in the postseason. Nick Gordon, Nick Gordon at the bottom of the order hit 235 on the season, drove in six runs. Holp runs the top of the order for us. Diaz homered, but that was about it. We didn't get get it done anywhere. None of our pitchers did well. That was a rough game. We are tied at one as we head back to what I like to call the toilet, uh, or what Yankee fans would refer to as Yankee Stadium. Looks like we'll be sending Sean Cervantes to the bump to face off against Michael King. Sean Cervantes against Eduardo Rodriguez in Game 3. Yankees take a 2-1 lead. Oh, boy. All right, so Luan Diaz homered, Alec Thomas homered, and for them, Siegler and Castellano homered. One of the bottom of the 12th inning on a walk-off home run. Yeah, Siegler homered. Off Connor Jones in the bottom of the 12th inning. Their bullpen got it done. Ours didn't. Our bullpen gave up two runs in five. Theirs gave up no runs in five. Difference. So our backs are against the wall here, and we'll be going with... But yeah, we're going to be going with Max Freed.
Hopefully we can get to a game five and get Bieber back on the mound. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're just about ready. Yeah, guys, we don't do this. We are going to be a difficult off season. We uh, the the chickens are coming home to roost in terms of finances, and, and it could be an issue. So let's see if we can keep our season alive. We can. We win this one eight to five. Heart homers for us. Judge for them. Five run seventh inning. Blew this game open. They scored five in the bottom of the ninth to make it close, but. Uh, we got out to a big enough lead to hold on. Thomas with two RBIs, Hart with two RBIs, Diaz with three runs knocked in. Freed was fantastic, eight Ks and seven. So it's all going to come down to game five, and it's going to be Shane Bieber for us. And for the Yankees, it will be whom? Ramirez again. Okay. We won game one, three, one with this same matchup. You're back home in Lyle for this one. Extra day. And here we go. Game five. Dalme Ramirez against Shane Bieber. And we lose. We lose the game 4-2. We lose the series 3-2. Nick Gordon hit 238 during the regular, 235 during the regular season, wins the MVP, batting 474. They scored four runs in the sixth inning. It was a one nothing shrimp game after five, and then Judge hit a two run hard. Judge had a two run single, and Ford had a two run double. Mm, well. Yeah, we're going to be in some financial trouble here. You can see um, our payroll jumps up another $12 million. Uh, we have no money for, for extensions. Um, if Bieber opts out, uh, that'll free up some money, but I don't necessarily want him to free out uh, to opt out. Uh, but we're going to lose Cameron. We're going to lose, potentially, we're going to lose Garrett. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting offseason. We're going to have some decisions to make for sure. So, um, yeah, that sucks. All right, well, another season down the drain. So we will move on to the offseason here. Uh, when we come back, it will be uh, it'll be the end of the postseason, and we will get through the offseason. So hang tight. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. It is off-season time, and we have a lot of work to do. The Washington Nationals defeated the New York Yankees in the 2026 World Series and are your champions. Let's go to the Nationals really. Hey, low, over from Tampa, just a crazy year. 151 runs knocked in. Juan Soto, 325. Yeah, Juan Soto just turns into an animal game. Luis Garcia uh, with just a power surge out of nowhere. 38 home runs, 110 RBIs. It's good, but wouldn't have expected those kind of numbers. 9.6 war. Herman DeBoer, 21-year-old short shortstop, only hit 36 home runs. Wow. Good offense out of the Nats. Uh, we have a lot to do. Um, we don't have a lot of money. Um, yeah, we have $11 million. We're going to have to raise ticket prices again. Just look at 20. So we can raise this is to 25. Let's go up to 28. People aren't going to like it, but it will lead to more money. Uh, and yeah, so if we look at some of our some of the notes that we received, Chris Bryant option year decision needed. Um, he played really well, but I don't know. Well, easy one we can avoid Woodruff. Um, 
season goals, third base, upgraded third base by 500, signed Shane Bieber. Yeah, Shane Bieber voided, the la voided his contract. Top prospects, do we have any here? We do not. Uh, what do I want to do with Chris Bryant? Um, I mean, he was good. 3.6 war. Good leadership ability. His defense is starting to slip. And $8 million. What do we have for... So our third baseman, if we don't re-sign him, is Caden Wallace. And are we comfortable with Wallace going in to... In at third base this year. And I feel like we should be. Good gap power, decent home run power. I mean, he's only 25. He's on a league minimum. I think decision, the right decision, is to let Bryant walk. Hit it. I think what's going to happen is he might be asking, let's see if we can get lucky here. He might be asking for more than 15. Where is he? Why can't I? It's only, uh, it's actually, we made the right move because we can potentially re-sign him right now to a cheaper contract if we want to. All right, so qualifying offer. No qualifying offer. No qual. Yeah, we're not going to offer qualifying to any of these guys. Um. Wow, that's a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> this is a ton of money here, guys. Uh, what does Bieber want to come back? Because I would like to. Ugh. All right. Well, we're not bringing Shane Bieber back. At least not at that amount. Which means we may not want to move Anthony K. Going to need some pitchers. Let's try to get some of these done. So Darian Perez. Take a four-year deal at this. I wouldn't take this if I were him. Oh, wow, he will. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Four years, $60 million. That takes him to his age 30 season. Who else do we want? Diaz wants a ton of money now. O'Nailer, Alex Sanchez. We need him back. Plug in all the ones that... Trey Barrera at seven million dollars. I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely. Or can we sign him? Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only wants the one year. Okay, that's fine. Wants one year at four four, so we can. Four two four zero. Save on there. Hunter Jones, Mark. Oh, let's Shane Baz at a million is fine. Trying to get the ones out of the way that I know won't be a problem. Ryan Rocio has been clutch for us, so I think he's worth bringing back. He wants one seven. We bring him back at six two five. And I know I say this in most of these episodes, but the reason I'm actually offering these guys contracts and not just going to arbitration is because you get um, 
fan interest bumps when they actually sign contracts and you don't get those bumps when you take someone to art. So, uh, Noel V. Marte, it's four. All right, I'm okay with that. Uh, Bone Nailer, 6-6, six, six, and he's going to miss. He's not going to max any of the season. He wants 6. He's 26. What if we gave him years at 6-5? Ew. Okay, that's fine. Once it at six six, so it's four. Submit that. Hey, um, Griffin Jacks at eight fifty. It's fine. Just bump it down five. Now we're going to get into some of the more difficult ones. 31-year-old closer at $9 million a year. I don't know that I can do that, especially when I can just slide Yap into that role. Might have to move Kazowski. Honor Jones at $2 million, I'm okay with. Uh, all right, so these are the tough ones. These are the tough ones. Kay, Kazowski, and Diaz. Diaz has been a rock for us since we got him, but don't know that paying him $10 million a year is the best deal. Um, because this is, I mean, this is three fifths of our starting rotation here. What did he want? 9, 11, 13. Joey wants one to come back. Whoa, he wants starter money. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about these three guys, Kay, Kazowski, and Diaz. Um... Make my decisions, obviously, before free agency and before the arbitration hearings. I'm either going to deal them or sign them. Um, and we will, uh, I'll let you know where we ended up, when we end up. So when we come back, it'll be uh, free agency time. Hang tight. All right, guys, we are back. It is free agency time. Um, and it wasn't a great lead up to free agency. Um, as you can see, we ended up having to go to arbitration with Lou and Diaz. He didn't want to talk to us, uh, and they actually offered him. And the arbiter ruled in favor of the player, so he got 12-5, uh, which means we lost $2.5 million there. Uh, we made a deal with the Yankees where we sent our closer... Marshall Kozowski and a couple of minor leaguers to the Yankees getting Phil Owens and John Price. Kozowski um, was just getting expensive. And I don't want to say he was old. I mean, he's only 31, but he's making almost $10.5 million. I've got somebody I can put into his role. So uh, I made the decision to move on from Kozowski, who was really, really good for us for three years. And in return... We pick up uh, John Price, who is a 19 or 20 year old outfielder with uh, some pretty um, advanced hitting uh, chops. He was the Yankees' number one pick a couple years back. And we also pick up Phil Owens, who is 
the number 76 prospect in baseball. Uh, could be a starter, could be a reliever. Uh, if we make him a starter... Yeah, I mean, he's not going to have a lot of... He's not going to have... And he throws 93 to 95. He's a ground ball pitcher. I mean, he could be successful as a as a starter with those numbers. So that's what we got out of the Yankees for Kozowski. Um And that's about it. Yeah, we, we signed most of our players to... Um, oops, we're not even in December yet. Signed most of our players to one-year contracts without hitting arbitration. Uh, Luan Diaz got 12-5. Bieber rejected qualifying offer. He's a free agent. Um, so we're going to have some some holes that we need to fill here. Uh, if we go back and look at the awards. No gold gloves for us this year. Um, AL reliever of the year. Dave Emberton. Haifeng Yap was third. So he's going to be our closer coming up. Um Platinum Stick or Silver Slugger, whatever you want to call him. Darian Perez got it in left, and Walt Hart was the DH. Rookie of the Year. DJ McCants from the Yankees. AL Manager of the Year is me. Again, Cy Young goes to Brian Perez. Only 12 and 8, a 3 4 5 ERA, but won Cy Young nonetheless. Shane Bieber finished second. And the AL MVP, Wander Franco. So let's take a look at the international free agents. I looked at the first two. They were both garbage. So let's see what else is available. So far, yep, nothing any good. So regular free agents. Um, doesn't look great. I mean, Bieber's probably the uh, the best name on that list. Um, so let's take a look really quickly at what we're going to what we're gonna need here. Just this. I mean, offensively, we're not in bad shape. Um, we get Naylor back before the beginning of the season. Taylor's our backup outfielder. Yeah, I mean, I think offensively we're okay. Maybe pick up another bat. I don't necessarily trust Lewin Diaz. His numbers are starting to slip a little bit. Um, but I mean, five straight seasons of thirty and a hundred. I can't. I can't really. I mean, I have to believe that he's going to continue to to perform. So, um, if he doesn't. You know, we'll look to move him or um, non-tender him next off season. But the yeah, pitching staff is where we're going to need to spend most of our time, most of our our time and money here. I think. Um, K Cervantes, Chu, Jackson. No, it wants me to start. Caden Wallace. Yeah. So right now, right? Yeah, we need it. We need two starters. Um, Maybe one if we want to move Baz back into the rotation, but we need at least one starter and at least one bullpen arm. So pitching is where we're going to be spending most of our time. Triple A ready to come up. We've got Setlock, but he's hurt again. That sucks. Um... Yeah, I mean, we've got some back-of-the-bullpen arms, but nothing. I mean, we've got some players who are getting there. Gautier is is getting there. He's 23. Um, and McCray is is getting there. They're both close, I would say. If not, not this year, then next year. They'll both start this year, actually. They may both start 40-man. Well, they are now. Might already be on the So that's what we're going to be looking for is some bullpen arms or some arms. Let's look at the available free agents and see what we can do.
All right, you can see right off the bat what Bieber's looking for. Um, we may see if we can wait him out, although Seattle's interested, which tells me that probably won't last very long. So we're going to have to make a move. And it looks like we're going to have to spend some money somewhere. I'm not crazy about it because we don't have a ton to spend. Oh, probably what, 25 million, 27 million, something like that. Let's see. Forty. Okay, so we have a little bit more. Oh, excuse me. We have a little bit more. What is this doing? We have a little bit more than what I thought. All right. So let's take a look at. Let's look at starters first. And the top three starters all came from my club. Just wonderful. So the only ones that are going to require comp picks. Emilio Vargas was one of mine too. Uh, the only ones that are going to require comp picks are Vargas and well, Beaver's not going to require. So, you know, we can just throw money at whatever. Um, this guy's not bad. But we don't really have an ace now. Now that Bieber's gone, we don't really have an ace. So we may talk to him, see if we can bring him back. Um, we may look at... Yeah, for upcoming. So upcoming free agents... Euler, Otani. This paddock's not bad. So we may see if we can make a deal for a pitcher as well. Um, rating is obviously hard. But... And maybe we can figure out a way to get our ace here um, through, uh, through trades. A lot of good options. You can see there are a lot of very, very good pitchers here. Um, and Cervantes isn't that far away from being ace. I just don't think he's quite there. Um, so I don't think we have to go nuts. Like, I mean, it would be nice to you know, grab a 27 year old Louis Patino or. Um, 27 year old Mackenzie Gore or Eric Hall or one of these guys, but I don't think it's 100% necessary. So, pitching is where I'm going to be spending my time. That's where our focus is going to be. Uh, when we come back, it'll be the rule five, and we'll see if we can find any diamonds in the rough. So, hang tight. We'll be right back. All right. It is rule five draft time. Um, some stuff happened. Uh, since we last talked, so let's look at that stuff first. So first of all, Shane Bieber has left and signed with the Texas Rangers. Six years, $199 million. We could swing that, so uh, we had to let him go. Uh, we get a first-round pick in exchange, um, and um, yeah, so we, we start over. <laughs> hey guys and welcome it is rule five draft time uh before we get to that though there were a couple of things that happened let's take a look at those first so we made a couple of deals um first one was sending griffin jacks to the oakland A's, getting jesus lazardo this will retain 30 percent of his uh, contract Lazardo's in the last year of an 18 million dollar deal He's going to slide in as our number five starter. Um, I decided to go this route. Uh, he's, I mean, he's, he's been solid. Last year was a little rough, but other than that, he's been a solid pitcher. Uh, we're only locked in for this one year where we can afford him, so we're going we're gonna to give it a whirl. The other deal was with the San Diego Padres. We sent Danny Swigard, Bradyland Bishop, and Brian Rocio to the Padres getting 
Patino and Patino. He's out for the next four months, but he is our replacement for uh, Shane Bieber, who signed with Texas Rangers. So we gave up Swigard, decent reliever, two pitch reliever. Um, gave up Braylon Bishop, who is one of our minor league prospects, center fielder, where we are loaded. So I felt okay giving that deal, uh, giving him up in that deal. And Brian Rocio, who has been really solid for us since we uh, signed him in the Rule 5 draft as a backup uh, middle. So we're going to figure something out there, but that's fine. In return, we get Tino. Um, really good stuff. Obviously, 100 movement doesn't get any better than that. Four great pitches. Um, at least 15 wins, three straight seasons. Um, will be our ace. So he has only signed signed four more years at $21 million. He's got an opt-out after this year, and there's a very good chance that he'll opt out, uh, hoping he doesn't. Uh, but if he does, we'll cross that bridge next year. Um, I think all that's all that's happened. Yeah, that's all that's happened um, since we talked last. Actually, let's just look at December just to make sense, make sure. December. We haven't done anything in December. So, yeah, this is that. That's it. Um, so our, our team now, we put Lazardo in Faz, and this is our rotation. Our rotation is still pretty solid. Uh, our bullpen's not bad. Um, Yap will be our closer this year, not Connor Jones. Um, DJ Gautier uh, is coming along really nicely. Uh, we signed him from um, uh, independent leagues, actually. It's come along nicely, so he'll be this bullpen piece for us. Um, yeah, you know, we'll, we still need another arm, Caden Wallace. I don't want to rely on him uh, as, a, as a pitcher because he's not very good. So we do need another bullpen arm. Hopefully the Rule 5 can help us with that. Nobody that we need to put on 40-man. So let's get to the Rule 5. Pick and dead last, so there's that. All right, let's pick to our next pick. Go after Ken. No, oh, is more developed. We'd go after him, but let's look at batters. See if we can find a replacement for Joe. That would be nice. Gyro Sosa, second base. Bet we could develop him shortstop as well. Third. We could take Braylon Bishop back. Shortstop. I I make him second short first baseman with the high contact no power I'm not really seeing anything that blows me away. Any of these guys could play multiple positions, like to play second and short as well. That would be that would be solid solid rule five pick. But Schuster's twenty. Yep. All right. Well, that's a shame. So we're still looking for a backup middle infielder. Gray Kessinger, shortstop. We need a backup middle infielder and we need another pitcher. So that's what I'm going to be looking for, another bullpen arm. So that's what I will be looking for between here and spring training. 
get a little bit of money left, so we will uh, spend every penny of it. Um, let's do... We haven't done Hall of Fame. Let's save file. So let's look at... Carlos Beltran. Gotta vote for Sexy. Zach Greinke. I'm going to vote for Lester just because I'm a Red Sox fan. Uh, we'll throw, I can't vote for Joe Maurer. If he racked up these numbers as a catcher, I'd vote for him, but as a first baseman, he's average. Uh, Dustin Pedroia, going to vote for Petey. Jiro, absolutely. The fact that he's not in already is a travesty. Verlander going to do it all right so yeah we are looking for a backup middle infielder actual or corner somebody who can play really i need somebody who can play third and second ideally with four. uh and then another bullpen arm that will do it so when we come back it'll be opening day set our rosters set our lineups set our pitching staffs and we'll call it an episode so back All right, guys, it is opening day. Uh, we are still dealing with some injuries. Bo Naylor's out for another few weeks. Well, v. Marte is uh, done for the season, unfortunately. Broken bone in his elbow. That's going to throw a wrench into our plans for sure. Um, yeah, it's going to cause some issues. So let's let's set our rosters and figure out what we can do. So we have 19 pitchers. We got a uh, 13. Well, technically it's 18 because one of them is Caden Wallace, so he'll play both. Send down Jeff Stark. Send down. Uh, I don't know about Nesbit yet. Abisher will go down. you guys down uh, we traded for Diego Castillo he's on the trade block picked him up for not much just a minor league second baseman just add a little bit more depth to that bullpen make sure that we have some talent there John McRae he's in, wasn't very good in double A last year so we'll start him in triple A Quintanilla was he was actually pretty good in AAA last year. Um, we'll come in. Ramirez will go down. Um, gain down. Test, test. Yeah, we're still. All right. Uh, so we got send a couple more. A lot of good pitchers. Send one more down. And I got to... I think it's going to... So that leaves... But that puts us at... 29. So we send three players down. Batters down. Uh, oh. Over the signings. Man, I... So we signed Richard Urena. Year contract, four million a year, two team options. Initially, he was going to be the backup. He's now my starting shortstop. This, um, so good for him, I guess. <laughs> Celedonio will go down. See it. You guys, unfortunately, stagnated. But I get the feeling they still got enough talent by. Designate him that someone will pick him up. So let's see what we can do. Options here. I don't know if we have them are any good, but it's here. Oh, we're getting a lot of options. All right, let's see what we got. Send Harrow stuff, but not much else. 
nice to pick up a starting stop. It's a bizarre rating system or rating uh, ratings he has there. Eduardo Lopez usually comes out pretty good. It's for Will Smith. Not the Will Smith. Not even the V Will. Different Will Smith than the other two Will. I'm not seeing anything that knocks my socks off. Ari. No move. Goal. Hmm. Um, Kansas City Royals moved to Indianapolis. This save, they did here. They're the Indianapolis Maulers now. Want a reporter. That. It's gonna hit. Um, you know, average. Yeah, I OTP these guys. I it's excuse me. Oh, and is a little it's with all those popped up I thought I was somebody or at least I was going to get some options but I don't know what I was expecting it's not like he isn't in this he's minor league fodder Just nothing. Oh, excuse me. Uh, see ya. Both on. Both out of options. Sucks. Spencer Schwellenbach. Steve. It's a shame because I know they're going to get especially demands. So let's send two. This just does. Send Villa Lobos. Maybe we can on to. All right. Does it? Let's set our pitching staffs. So, it is Patino is nice. Chin. Sweet Chan. 
two. Antes. Four. Hour five. Bap. Bap. Joan set up. I don't want to ride him into the ground. Have a couple. So. Jay set up. Shane back. No relief. Steel will be no relief. Alvarez. Long relief. She starts. L and a leverage option. All right. I don't want to stop right now. Set up and set up. If that worked, let's do Just look. Cap is our closer. OTA, he may end up the closer when it's all said and done, but for now, it's Charts, meetings, stuff hitter will be staring. Two, it's RAs who is starting to drop. It's contract here. There. Alec Thomas, man, we are left. Sure. Wow, top four. All gonna be. It's not ideal. All right, no, that is what it is. All this will bet. Fifth, sixth, seventh. Shortstop and our catcher. So our shortstop is. Jake Rogers shot. Shot here while we wait. I can we'll see which catcher plays better. Kessinger. It's gonna be the Wow, we're really left-handed heavy. That's exactly how left-handed are. That's going to be a problem. Uh, it's going to be a problem. Lefties at all. Definitely don't want him batting lead off against Bob Ray. Oh, his eye is not. It's the game. It's where we get some point. Center it's in. Okay, it's got splits. This is not Kessinger. So Kessinger lefties and we not good, I don't I have it this year, guys. This is going to be ugly.
realize exactly how lefty we were. Um, hard out. That's okay. If we got to make some moves, make some moves. I think, yeah. Yeah, I mean, still making money. Our salaries are going to drop next year. Cardo's going to come off the books. Yeah, is going to come off the books. K if off the books. So, going to have some money. We have RAs and Patino potentially both opting out of the contract. So, we could have a lot of money. The only players we really have locked up beyond this year are Perez, Thomas, and you. Okay with that. So, um, let's go ahead and sim to okay. Check out the minor league systems. We'll check out our um, where they think we up predictions. That's the word I'm looking for. 97 and 65. And it with our pitching staff, although we are expected to score third most amount of runs in the American. Nobody on offense. Tino and Cervantes listed here. Yeah, I mean, if we go 97 and 65, I'll take it. System. We're starting to slip here. Where are we? Wow, we're all the way down here. Vargas, Thompson, and Nava. That's no good. What happens when you have years in a row, though? Let's look. Yeah, I mean, we've got some talent. I'm not really worried so much about the rankings. We have some players. Torres is going to be a really good bat, um, as will potentially John Price. That you know, we've got some good talent. It's too, too much about what the what the are Mike Wright's another good. Add. So, we've got some. We've got some talent. It not be elite, but it's good. JD Thompson should be up. Carter, nice. So we're we're filling some of the holes from our from our minor league system, which is which is what you want. So, uh, that is going to do it. I think for this episode. Yeah, we're at opening day. Uh, when we come back, it will uh, first year player draft draft, and we'll play season so as always leave a like subscribe let me know your thoughts and until we talk again everybody take care bye bye